Hi there, this is Paul O'Brien with WayOfTheSamurai.com doing a first impressions opening of my new Cold Steel Imperial Sento. Uh, as you can see, it's arrived in this lovely cardboard box, uh, priority mail, which is always nice. Uh, and luckily for me, this passed through customs okay. Um, the sword legislation here in Ireland can be a bit nickety in regards to these things. Uh, they often don't allow in such items. However, uh, Cold Steel were fantastic and they included some packing information um, that allowed this to get through all right in regards to the traditional manner of this manufacturer. You can see that's included there. Oh! <laughs> that was a nice surprise. <laughs> Free lollipop! <laughs> Thank you, Cold Steel. Much appreciated. <laughs> oh my god. There's another one. And another one. <laughs> Cold Steel. Swords and lollipops. Can't beat that. That is fantastic. <laughs> um, okay. And this is wrapped in brown paper. Nice and secured. And we'll remove that. No more lollipops. And then we have a second smaller box here. And again, a little more packaging. And a copy of the Cold Seal catalogue, which I will enjoy going through later on. Oh, and there is, hold on, very quickly. There appears to be, wow! This is very nice. They've also included uh, absolute sword proof. Uh, a series of DVDs uh, featuring their products. That's fantastic. Very, very nice touch. Much appreciated. Between that, the DVDs and the lollipops, I'm loving this. Now, uh, we still haven't gotten into seeing how the sword works. As you can see, there's no one missing that this is a factory second. Um, so I got this at a discounted rate for the purposes of the review. Uh, so we'll see exactly what manufacturing issues are present in this in a moment. Again, this is nicely taped up and secured. It's very well secured. Situations like this where you need a tanto to go to open. The sword is, or the Tanto is loose in the box um, and half wrapped in bubble wrap. So, remove this. Okay. And again, this is a factory second. It has specific detailing here of what that is. So, let's have a look. Overall, that looks quite nice so far. There is a minor scuff here around the bottom. We have nice metal end caps. Ah, okay, we can see why this is a factory second here. As you can see, there's been some kind of plastic label affixed to this, and there's some glue and some of the lacquering here is scuffed ever so slightly. That's not a problem, that's only very cosmetic, that can be taken care of. We have a nice metal suba, well finished, small and delicate. We have genuine ray skin wrap. There's some slight tearing of the ray skin just here in the Makugi and some slight fraying of the Ito wrap. Again, nice, very solid fittings here, this is excellent. Uh, so far this is fantastic. Let's have a look at the blade itself. Very smooth draw. Very nice solid entrance into the Koguchi. As you can see there, it's nicely polished. This is a nice, nice heft, nice weight. A little loose around the Suba, a little loose around the Seppa. Uh, you can hear it rattle a bit there, but that's not too bad. 
Tabaki is nice, fits well. Some slight rough edging to that, but that's all right. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt on the blade. It's not oiled, um, so there's a lot of dirt, no oiling to the blade, but that's not too bad. The actual blade looks excellent. It's got nice bohe here, and then it's smoothly tapered. Little bit of oiling here at the top. Blade edge looks fantastic. Excellent solid weight to a very, very solid feel. You can get a nice slight cutting sound from that. That's lovely. Excellent. So overall, that is the first impressions of the Cold Steel Imperial Tanto. That is quite, quite nice. And for a factory second, I think this is excellent. This is absolutely excellent. Minor scuffing to the uh, Saya, but other than that, this appears to be in fantastic condition. I'll clean this up, buff it out, uh, take care of some of the damage in the dirt, and I think this will be an excellent, excellent piece. Real nice weight to this. Fantastic. Excellent. So uh, thank you, Cold Steel.